Hello, I'm Steve Rosansky, President and CEO of the Newport Beach Chamber of Commerce. The voting is over, but the counting continues. For some races, this will have little or no effect as winning margins are too wide for an, for an opponent to overcome based on the number of uncounted ballots. However, in our local elections, the races have been pretty well decided. There were three seats up for election on the Newport Beach City Council. Two were contested, and in the third race, Councilman and current Mayor Will O'Neill ran unopposed. In the District 2 race, Councilman Brad Avery won handily over his opponent, Nancy Scarborough, by a 60 to 40 margin. The District 5 race turned out to be somewhat of a surprise as newcomer Noah Blom prevailed over incumbent Councilman Jeff Herdman by a 59 to 41 percent margin of victory. In the race for the 74th Assembly District seat, incumbent Assemblywoman Cotty Petrie Norris eked out a 51.3 percent to 48.7 percent victory over Newport Beach Councilwoman Diane Dixon. However, in the 37th District State Senate race, long-term veteran of elected office John Morlock was defeated by newcomer David Min with 52% of the vote compared to John's 48%. Finally, in the race for the 48th Congressional District, Democratic incumbent Harley Ruda is losing to Republican challenger Orange County Supervisor Michelle Steele by just under 3,000 votes out of 340,071 votes cast in the race. This is one that could change over the next few days or weeks as the Orange County Registrar of Voters continues to count late arriving and provisional ballots. It should be noted that Harley won the seat two years ago from 30-year incumbent Dana Rohrabacher. What does this mean? If Michelle Steele is successful in her campaign to defeat Congressman Ruta, there will be a vacancy on the Board of Supervisors which will set in motion a lot of posturing as other local electeds eye the seat. Defeated State Senator John Morlock is a likely candidate as he has held the supervisor position prior to Ms. Or Supervisor Steele. Two Newport Beach Council members, Kevin Muldoon and just re-elected Council Member Will O'Neill, have expressed interest in running for the office and Muldoon has already opened a campaign account in anticipation of a Steele victory and a special election to fill the seat. There's also speculation that just re-elected Costa Mesa Mayor Katrina Foley and Councilmember Mike Posey from Huntington Beach, who already has a Posey for Supervisor 2022 Campaign Committee, will also run for the seat. Please feel free to share this video with friends and colleagues, and if you have any questions about the election results, please call me at 949-729-4404, or you can visit our website at www.newportbeach.com. If you're not now a member of the Newport Beach Chamber of Commerce, we invite you to partner with us by joining, and please click the subscribe button below so you'll be sure to receive all of our future updates. Thank you, wear a mask, and be safe.